Hello, this is Jeff Weiss. Welcome to the introduction to horticulture. Um, that's a photo of me uh, operating a chainsaw, which is uh, uh, a lot of what I do when I'm not uh, taking or teaching classes, and an image of the textbook that uh, you'll be using for this class. A uh, lecture uh, is lesson, lesson O, uh, which is your orientation lesson. Um, the content for the class begins in lesson one, which you can also access uh, via the Enter system. Uh, the Enter system is a new uh, tool, uh, new to CLC and uh, just becoming uh, developed. I hope uh, your experience with it is positive. It looks like a uh, uh, clean and uh, intuitive, easy to use system, and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you and seeing your work uh, coming into it every week. As I mentioned in my uh, uh, self introduction, uh, this is my uh, second time through this class uh, and the second time I've taught a pure online uh, uh, course. Uh, with the new tool, there's likely to be some uh, occasional glitches, and you can always uh, email me or call at my CLC uh, voicemail. Uh, but there's also um, uh, local uh, support for uh, the Enter tool uh, at CLC, so I hope you'll uh, use the, uh, the, the help uh, that's um, available in every screen. So since this is an orientation lecture, um, it is going to be administrative in nature. Um, and these slides will talk about the approach and the uh, content and the uh, procedures for this class. But the first thing I wanted to do was to uh, remind you to go into um, uh, the discussion board and make your self-introductions. Um, if possible, please do that uh, by Wednesday, uh, and that will give you an opportunity to uh, look at uh, your classmates' introductions and um, reply to them by Saturday to get the extra credit. The learning outcomes uh, for this unit are to enable you to access all of the course online materials and resources, uh, to get an understanding of the course re requirements and the grading criteria and to um, begin to uh, walk through the set of weekly steps that will um, enable you to succeed in this class and that involves uh, completing the self-introduction and replies as I've um, described. Key terms and concepts for this week that you'll need to understand include the following Enter. That's the uh, system that we're going to be using. Um, I hope that because you're already listening to this lecture uh, that you are able to uh, meet the technology requirements and, the, and understand the procedures to run Enter. Um, there's also um, a class syllabus um, in this lesson uh, and I'm going to walk through the weekly steps uh, in this uh, discussion about what it'll take to uh, keep up and become a member of the learning community for this class. And finally, um, the grading criteria uh, will be described here. So this, uh, the class resources include me. Here's my email address and my um, uh, uh, campus phone number. I think you'd be better off if you call 847-543-2000 extension 3969 and uh, my office hours uh, will be virtually every day but I'll try to um, spend time uh, Wednesday and Friday um, and uh, I'll, I'll be available to meet with you in person uh, if you'll just contact me. So what you see and enter are announcements, content, uh, a discussion board, which is uh, a key element of each week's uh, unit. Um, the tests will be delivered via en enter. Um, and with respect to grades, I 
think I'm going to be putting them on Enter, but I may also be um, putting them on Blackboard. Uh, Blackboard is the other um, online uh, support system that CLC uses, and I may be entering a gradebook for the class into uh, Blackboard, but I'll, I'll send you more information about that if that, if that happens. And then each week I'm going to try to post a survey, uh, an additional opportunity for you to provide input uh, back to me about how it's going and information that I can use to make this a better class going forward. The textbook, uh, the Aqua textbook, Horticulture Principles and Practices, is uh, a, a standard uh, college text for horticulture. It provides uh, much uh, more uh, detail and technical uh, information than I can possibly put into a uh, into a brief lecture. So I hope that you will uh, take advantage of this resource, purchase a copy uh, either online or at the college bookstore, and uh, read it, uh, or at least follow the, the assignments. And in any event, uh, some of the questions on the exams will uh, require you to look them up on the, in this textbook. So it's, uh, it is a required uh, part of the class. I'm not going to read the course learning objectives, uh, but I'll, I'll summarize them briefly. So by the end of this course, um, we will um, enable you to understand and explain the main uh, divisions in the, both the study and the practice of horticulture. Horticulture is an applied science, so it combines uh, science and practice, or, or science and techniques, and this course gets into uh, both of those areas. There's quite a bit of plant science, taxonomy, physiology, and uh, plant processes that are uh, required to understand horticulture and how to successfully um, grow or uh, use plants for horticultural purposes. Third, we'll um, talk about uh, external factors, um, soils, climate, pests, and the human practices and the um, manipulations that um, horticulturalists use to uh, affect plant growth and development. And then um, because uh, some of you are uh, interested in a horticultural related career, we're going to get into some uh, uh, discussion of opportunities and issues in the industry and career uh, opportunities that might be available to you. And uh, finally to develop a range of skills uh, that uh, uh, will serve you academically and should you decide to pursue either a career or a hobby type of interest in horticulture. And there's a list of the types of skills uh, that we um, will be working on. Uh, one of the important, uh, oh, let me talk about the last two bullets, uh, teamwork and collaboration with the instructor. Um, that is uh, again a function of the uh, discussion board. And I can't emphasize how important that particular part of this class is. It's the only substitute for meeting face-to-face. -face and um, I want to have a um, collaborative, cooperative uh, uh, experience for you here. So um, teamwork and collaboration uh, is a uh, uh, roundabout way of saying that we're going to hit the discussion board each week. So. Uh, be prepared for that. And then finally, clear and effective uh, writing and presentation skills. Um, at the end of the semester, uh, it, you will be uh, expected to produce a class project. It's uh, very flexible. Uh, we'll, we'll be talking about it throughout the term. Uh, but it will require you to uh, choose a topic, do some research, and uh, write about it. And, and the writing can uh, be in the form of a, of a paper or a presentation, um, but you're also going to be expected to take that paper presentation and um, record a YouTube video about it. Now, um, 
the last class did a fantastic job on these YouTube videos and I believe they all enjoyed the experience of producing it and, and, uh, and watching themselves perform and it really did uh, pull together the information and the skills uh, that we're, uh, are part of this uh, list of outcomes. So um, you have plenty of time to work on that but that's a key part of the course. So here are the grades related to those various components. Um, discussions, uh, there'll be 15 discussion boards, 10 points each, total of 150 points. Um, there'll be um, uh, assignments, and some of these assignments simu simulate uh, what we'd be doing in, a, uh, in class or in a laboratory in a face-to-face -face class. Um, the class project is uh, a big part of the class, um, and there's th three graded parts of it. First, um, about midway through the class you'd be expected to submit an outline uh, that's worth 50 points, the actual report itself is worth 100, and your YouTube presentation an, an, additional, two, uh, an additional 50 points. And then during the course of the uh, uh, class there will be three um, exams. Uh, these are um, multiple choice and short answers and um, there are 100 point, points each. Total of 750 points for the class and here's how the grades are calculated. And then uh, uh, rubrics to show you how uh, the grades will be calculated are provided. Um, and um, I want you to understand uh, and get good feedback throughout the class. So um, there will be some uh, rubrics available. And on the exams, uh, I will i don't have these set up for uh, automatic grading, but I will be uh, uh, giving you feedback and showing you uh, the uh, questions uh, you missed and uh, uh, trying to uh, provide uh, feedback to you on the actual test papers. So um, each week is a process. Uh, I'll be sending out an announcement, uh, a list of uh, readings from the text and online sources, uh, some videos for you to link out to if you're uh, uh, interested in pursuing particular topics, and I've also produced some uh, videos myself uh, that demonstrate some of the skills that we're going to be talking about. Um, then there's a recorded lecture such as you're um, uh, participating in right now. Uh, each week we'll talk about class business, learning outcomes, key terms and concepts, and then the content of each week's lesson. Uh, timings for these vary. Um, they can be anywhere from 15 to 45 minutes and uh, really um, urge you uh, to take a part of it when you get bored. Uh, or um, want to take a break and do something else, stop the recording, come back to it at a later time. Um, hopefully they'll be interesting and informative and worth, uh, worth, worth uh, listening to. And then each week there'll be a discussion question. Uh, StudyMate is a, uh, uh, a tool, uh, I'm not sure how much use we'll make of it, but it's a tool that lets you build your uh, vocabulary and uh, a list of key terms. We might have that as a substitute for uh, a discussion question. And then uh, each week has a, an assignment. Usually these are fairly brief but sometimes uh, involve uh, uh, research and writing. And then uh, to give me feedback about how you're doing and get suggestions for improving the class, um, many weeks I'll ask you to complete a brief uh, survey. Uh, of how you're how you're doing or what your experience has been. Uh, so that's uh, the content of the course. And then each week, uh, here's the process. Uh, so by um, Wednesday evening, um, I hope you'll have a chance to get to um, read the at least the learning outcomes and the discussion questions for the week and the assigned um, uh, readings. Um, also um, play the class lecture and video and this is key post your answers even if you're not complete uh, even if you're not finished with all of the work uh, please post your answers 
um, to the discussion questions on the discussion board. Um, that will enable um, students to complete um, the, the Saturday part of the weekly process, which is to react, reply and react to other students and my posts on the discussion board. Um, we'll talk more uh, uh, about this, but um, a key part of your learning is to have a conversation uh, about what you've learned and what your uh, uh, classmates are learning. So this discussion board is, is uh, a centerpiece of the class and this timing is really important. But since uh, each Saturday uh, there'll, there'll be a new unit open and you'll have uh, more work to do, um, it's important in order to keep up to complete your weekly assignments and or an exam and submit your work via enter or to me via email by Saturday so that you can start the next week's assignment. So that's the that's the pro progression uh, Saturday to Saturday with a midpoint uh, Wednesday for you to uh, um, take what you've learned so far in the week and uh, submit answers to the discussion questions. In effect that's your uh, class for the week is to um, put something up on the discussion board. So uh, self-introductions, hopefully you've already done it or will quickly be able to do it. Um, I, these dates are, are incorrect. Um, uh, I want you to do these the first week of exam week. And you can um, write a couple of paragraphs about yourself, uh, insert a photograph and or a one to two minute uh, YouTube video to introduce yourself to me and your classmates and tell us a little bit about yourselves. So each week, um, because this uh, class is uh, supported by a grant from the Department of Labor, um, all of the materials that I uh, have put on my uh, lectures are required to be open source or used with the permission of the, um, of the copyright holder. So each week uh, I have one or more slides uh, with the attributions uh, or recognition of who the owners of the uh, pictures or materials that I've used in the class. So um, you can use these to uh, uh, get more information or you can just uh, ignore them because they are a requirement of the grant that we use for the class. Um, but that's, uh, that's pretty much it for this lecture and uh, I'm going to open up Unit 1, which has the actual uh, first week of content for the class, uh, so that if you uh, uh, get through with this uh, orientation and uh, uh, get a chance to uh, uh, submit your self-introduction, you can um, start to work ahead and uh, see what the actual content of the course is like. So um, that's it for Unit Oh, um, please let me know if you have any questions uh, or uh, what I can do to support this and, and make this a worthwhile learning experience for you. Uh, thank you.